Welcome to SimplySCUBA.com. In this session, we're looking at the Sunto Zoop dive computer. As you can see, it comes either wrist-mounted, or we also do a console-based system as well. So it gives you real flexibility, uh, depending on how you like to dive with your computer. So let's take a closer look. So if we take a look at some of the features you've got on the computer then, it's an entry-level computer, this, so ideal for all types of recreational diving, but would also make an ideal backup computer, obviously, if you do need a second one. It's a very rugged design, so it's nice and strong. Nice large LCD display on the front there. It's got a nice straightforward menu system as well, which we'll take a look at in a second. And also comes with audio and visual alarms as well. This one we've got here today is obviously the wrist-mounted one, so you've got a nice large watch-style strap, ideal for fitting over the top of dry suits, but also you can tighten it down to fit over wet suits as well. On the back, we do have a user removable battery as well, so you can change the battery yourself if you do need to, so you don't have to send it away, which is obviously great for cutting down on maintenance costs. We've also got a PC interface section as well, so you can link it to your PC to transfer all your dive logs and dives, which is a great little feature. If we now take a look at the menu system itself, Okay, so if we take a closer look at the menu on the dive computer, just a quick note, we did have a little protective cover that does go over the top of the screen, just to protect the screen when you've obviously got it. We have removed this for the video just to reduce any glare and so you can get a better view of the, uh, the computer itself. At the moment, it is sat in its idle mode. This tends to happen, obviously, when the computer's left for about three minutes or so, it will switch to this mode. Just displays the, the current time, You've got the current date there, and also the day. It's a water-activated computer, so once you do enter the water, it will switch automatically to its dive mode, but you can access this just by pressing the mode button on the side here, which will send it through into its dive mode. So when it does this, a battery indicator will display on the side there just to give you the battery level, and the dive mode itself, you just have your depth displayed here, your dive time, and water temperature as well. We have three buttons on the face of the computer. Nice large buttons, easily pressed, especially if you've got gloves on as well, nice and easy to get hold of. We have a mode button down the side, a time button and a plan button on the bottom as well. The time button, once pressed, just displays the current time. The plan button sends you through to the dive planner. Now what this is, is you've got a calculator here for your no decompression stop. So you can adjust your maximum depth just by using the buttons on the bottom here. They have little up and down arrows. So you can increase and decrease your max depth. And then once you've done that, it will give you your no decompression time. You can exit out of this just by pressing the quit button or the mode button on the side here, which sends you back through to the main dive screen. So some of the modes that we've got in the menus, literally just by pressing the mode button, Send you through to the secondary menu. On here, we have another two additional menus. We have a memory menu and also a set menu. If we go through to the menu, memory menu first, pressing the mode button again into the memory menu, we have a logbook setting, a history setting, and also a PC set setting. The logbook setting stores around 50 hours worth of dive time. Obviously, this computer hasn't got any dives saved on it at the moment, so it is blank, but once you have got dives saved, you can scroll through. This just uh, stores all the vital information from your previous dives, so you can flick through there and, uh, and take a look. In the history setting, this stores the information from your last dive, so obviously, if you do want to record this information onto a logbook after you finish diving, you can do so. Literally go in, get all the vital information, and store it in your logbook. And then also, finally, we have the PC set setting. Uh, this is so it can interact with the um, additional uh, PC interface. So if you do decide to buy one of those, you can clip that onto there, so go into this area on the menu, press the select button, and that then transfer the details from the computer onto your PC, giving you additional information like graphs and also storing your dive logs onto there. So going back out into the secondary menu again, we can take a look at the set menu. In here, we have another four sections. We have mode, which gives you the ability to switch between air and nitrox. Obviously, selecting nitrox, you can then put in your, your mixture into there. 
We then have the set alarm section. So this gives you access to all the alarms that are built into here. This is a dive time alarm at the start. You can turn this on and off just by pressing the sections on there. And OK, you can then set your dive time. So uh, once you reach that dive time, you'll then get an audio and visual alarm. Again, these are adjusted just by these buttons at the bottom here. So you can increase and decrease your time. Next, we then have a max depth alarm. Again, you can turn it on and off using the buttons. And then obviously then adjust your maximum depth. So then back out into the menu again, after we've done mode and alarms, we then have set time. Obviously going this, you can just set the time on the, uh, the watch so it's to the correct time. And then we have some additional settings as well. In here, you can set your um, Altitude adjustment, so you can adjust that. Obviously, if you're diving above sea level, you can adjust those settings in here. And also, we have a personal setting. Now, what this does is you can just finally tune your computer depending on how you like to dive. There's two separate settings here. This just gives you a little bit of leeway between times depending on how you like to dive. So you can really personally adjust this computer to your dive styles. And finally, you can either switch between metric or imperial measures again, depending on how you like your information displayed. So really easy to use menu, nice and clear. Again, really ideal for all types of recreational diving or makes a, a fantastic backup dive computer. It's a really good, really good computer.